In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to UV unwrap the Master Sword. Now, in this case, I built the Master Sword using the box modeling tutorial that I have, and I've also gone through and used the multi sub object material tutorial to get more than one material assigned to the sword. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take this sword and I'm just going to assign one material to it. The other material still exists, and if I wanted to click on it, I could right click and assign that material, and it would have the multiple IDs assigned to it. In this case, just to make this tutorial easier, I made a brand new standard material by simply dragging one in and then right clicking on it with my sword selected and saying assign material to selection. I'm going to right click inside negative space and say hide unselected to hide my reference. From here, I'm going to go to modify. When I go to UV unwrap an object like this sword, anything that I've built, I like to start off by putting a basic set of UVs on it. So I'm going to put a UVW map. I'm going to adjust the alignment to Y and click fit. And that takes what I have here for the sword and it makes it match the proportions. Now you may have to change the alignment in order to get it to match. Now I would like to have a base set of UVs that matches the proportion of the swords. And so I'm going to take the the, the largest value, which is the length of 505, copy that. I'm going to paste that into the width. So now the UV plane is square, which means the UV is going to be square. So I'm going to do at this point is I want to make this permanent. So I'm going to right click on model and say convert to and convert to edit poly. From here, I'm going to go, now that I have a basic set of UVs, I want to go in and I want to start fine tuning it. And I'm going to use my unwrap UVW. If you don't have the modifiers that I have here, please refer to my notes about setting up configuring modifier sets. Otherwise, all the modifiers I'm using are easily accessed here inside the modifier list. I'm now going to open UV Editor, which is one of the options underneath Edit UVs. If you can't find it, simply collapse the rollouts until you find the Open UV Editor window. Now, later versions of Macs have different icons, but a lot of these tools remain the same. I'm going to make this window a little bit larger to give me space to work. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button to just move the sword over to the side where I can see it. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here in the corner. I'm going to switch to Polygon, and I'm going to click in negative space so nothing's selected. And under Arrange Elements, I'm going to click Pack Custom. Now, what this does is it takes every polygon, every polygon uh, if I hit here polygon element and it scales them proportional and packs them into zero to one space which is what we call this this being zero one if you were tiling okay so my the way this sword was built it was built out of three elements so I have three separate elements here to start working from I'm gonna turn off what I had turned on before which is select by element UV toggle there's a number of different ways I can go about UV unwrapping my sword. What I'm going to do to start is I'm going to start by unwrapping the blade. So I'm going to control R to orbit. I'm going to use edge mode. I'm going to open up unwrap UVW so that you can see which of the modes I'm in. I'm going to click on the side of the sword and I'm going to use loop selection. Now the loop selection is going to go all the way around the sword. If I hit F3, you can see it's going through the top and over to the sides. It points That points out to me that I have polygons on the inside of the sword I'm not going to need. So I'm going to, before I do anything, I'm going to go to polygon mode. I'm going to region select and then deselect because I want to I want to have those polygons that are inside the sword here selected. I'm going to right click and say convert to edit poly. And then in polygon mode of editable poly, I'm going to hit delete because I don't need to have those polygons there. It's uh, going to be a waste of UV space. It's going to make my job easier. So now I click on editable poly. So I make sure I'm at the top level. I'm going to put a new unwrap UVW on. I click open UV editor. You'll notice that there's now a green UV scene. This means that there's no UVs touching on the other side. In this case, it's just because there's an open edge, which is fine because you don't see that on the sword. So I'm now going to, once again, I'm in edge mode here of Unwrap UVW. I'm going to click on loop, which loops all the way around. And over here in the peel rollout, I'm going to use this button, which is convert edge selection to seams. 
When I do that, notice how those edges are now UV seams. And what I can do is go into Polygon. If I click on one Polygon here, I can use Expand Polygon Selection to Seams, which as you can see is grabbing everything in the front. And now I can use Quick Peel. I click on that, and that peels it. I could do the same thing on the back side where I click one of those polygons, expand selection, and quick peel that as well. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn off show active map so it's easier to see. Now here's those two sides of the sword. Once I've peeled them, I'm going to go tools, relax, and I'm going to relax by polygon angle and hit start. Now peel will take what you have and unfold it for you. What Relax does is Relax tries to adjust the polygons back to their original size, right? Their original size and shape. All right, so the blade is unwrapped at this point. I'm going to move on to the handle next. What I'm going to do in this case is over here in the UV window, I'm going to region select the top part of the handle, and then I'm going to hold Alt, and I'm going to deselect the bottom, and I'm just going to quick peel the very top of the handle there. Do a little relax, he's fine. Okay. Now from here, I want to figure out what's the best way to unwrap the handle. Now, there are polygons at the bottom before we get too far. I'm going to do the same thing I did at the top. I'm going to region select. I'm going to hold Alt and region select so I only have the bottom portion, which I'm going to peel as well, and hit relax. There we go. Now, ideally, when you're UV unwrapping, you're going to put your, your seams in locations that are harder to find, harder to notice or see. I'm just going to pick one side here of the handle. I'm going to grab the loop, which, as you see, wraps all the way around. So we don't want to do that. I'm going to grab one side here that's right on the edge. I'm going to grab a loop actually over here in the UV window because then because we've removed the top and bottom, it's not going to wrap all the way around. And now I can use Convert Edge Selection to Seams. I can go into Polygon, click on Element, and then click on the handle and peel it. From there, I can relax it, and that'll move the handle to be closer to its actual shape. I can turn that off, and I think it looks like we might be getting a little bit of distortion. So I'm going to grab just the handle portion here and peel that and relax it. Grab the end. I'm going to peel that and relax it. And then I'll grab the base here and peel and relax that. Okay. From here, I'm going to kind of zoom out so I could see the whole square. A good thing to do at this point would be to pack custom. So I'll click on that and I'll repack all my elements. I can always check how I'm doing by doing select overlap polygons. And so the areas I've already unwrapped are working out good. The only portion I need to really work on is just the hand guard. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn off Polygon and go into Edge. And I'm going to click on one edge, right? And it's an edge right along the middle. I'm going to click Loop. And it looks like that will actually loop all the way around. And so from there, I'm going to convert that to a seam and go into Polygon. Click on one of these polygons and expand my selection and peel it. Same thing on the other side. I could actually click in this window, the edit window, and then expand my selection and peel it. All right. Now, if I go back and turn on select by element and click on here, I could start to relax that. Same with the other one. I can relax him kind of looking okay. I think what we may want to do, we're probably all right. It looks like there's, if I go F3, there's a bit of a 90 degree angle. It might be good. I'm going to turn off select by element. I'm just going to click this edge and this one. I'm going to convert those edges to seams. I'm going to do the same thing at the top and select those corners. And it's effectively these corners right here because I want to get a nice unfold, a nice peel. So I'll convert those over, and then if I select those two elements, do a quick peel and relax, there you go. That looks a little bit better to me. There we go. Okay. So now, once again, I'm going to pack custom. So 
So if I adjust the shape of this. Now, the pack custom algorithm for the version that I have work, operates differently from the current version that's being used at the schools. 2019-2020 uh, does a different job. A lot of times what you'll need to do is take the different pieces you've unwrapped and kind of manually go through and pack them in here in a custom fashion. Like if I take these and rotate them 90 degrees, I'm going to take all these elements. I'm in. I have select by element turn on to make this easier to do. What I'm going to do is come over here and I want to take all these pieces and see if I could pack them in tighter into this location. I'm going to rotate this around almost like a little manual jigsaw puzzle here. I'm going to take my pieces and kind of come over and arrange them. What I'm trying to do is just rearrange my UVs so that they fill a tinier amount of space uh, so that I can have a more efficient UV layout. That's what I'm trying to get. I don't want to have a lot of wasted space. And so that's why I'm trying to pack these in tighter to make sure that I'm utilizing as much of the UV space as possible. There we go. Now if I come over here and grab this, I'm going to go into freeform mode. And you see I'm taking up about half the space. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this end and pull it over to the side. So that now when I create UVs for my sword, what I'll do is I'll make them with an aspect ratio of 2 to 1, meaning they will be twice as tall as they are wide. At this point, I'm happy with my UV layout. I've gone through, I've unwrapped my sword. If I click in negative space and say select overlap polygons, nothing's overlapping, which is perfect. That's what we want. I'm going to hit Z to zoom out. Click in 3D space and hit Z to zoom out. My sword's completely unwrapped. I'm going to right click and say convert to editable poly. And there you go. Now here's my sword and it's completely UV unwrapped.